Welcome to our weekly discussion of all things current in California politics. I'm Walt Gray. Joining us this week, reporter Emily Hoven, political expert for CalMatters.org. So, Emily, we're through elections, although in some places not so much. Uh, it could be a while to get final results coming in here. Things are looking still pretty close in some places in California, yes? They are, yeah. We have some close races, not only in the state legislature that could determine the flavor of Democrat in many cases that's elected, but also in the House, where we're still trying to see if there's going to be some level of a Republican red wave that some Democrats have been concerned about. But it just goes back to the point that here in California, we don't have election day anymore. We have election season, and it's going to take a while, days, maybe even weeks in some cases, to get all those ballots counted, including those that were cast in person on election day or provisionally or by people that registered to vote on that day. All right, another, another item on the docket here is there's a new program to police the police, and you're telling me that's off to a bit of a slow start. Yeah, we had a Cal Matters investigation come out, and um, there's a new law in California that authorizes the State Department of Justice to investigate um, local law enforcement if they shoot an unarmed civilian fatally. Um, and so far, the DOJ um, has opened 25 investigations into these occurrences. Um, they had promised to close them within a year of opening them, but it's been more than a year, and so far they have only closed one case, and that came out uh, just last week, and they um, decided that they did not have enough evidence to criminally charge the officers. And so we're going to be tracking each of these outcomes, um, and I encourage you to go to our website and look at the tracker. It's the only one in the state so far, and um, we're really trying to just make sure that we're holding officials accountable for their promises. All right, Emily, thank you. We'll be uh, going to Cal Matters to check that out. Cal Matters is <laughs> a nonpartisan news organization explaining California policies and politics. Find their work at calmatters.org, and you can also sign up for Emily's newsletter there.